Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that these two sets are equal. Uh, we're going to take a bit of a different approach. Instead of using like uh, the method of double inclusion where we show uh, one set is a subset of the other and vice versa, uh, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it, so proof. This is uh, one of De Morgan's laws. Um, so there's two uh, statements uh, for De Morgan's law. This is one of them. By the way, this bar here means absolute complement. So um, this symbol, A bar, is the same as a complement. This is the same as saying the set of all x such that x is not in A. It's called the absolute complement or simply complement. All right, so I said we were just going to do it, so let us do it. So I'm going to start by writing down this set, and we're just going to show it's equal to this set. Let's do it. So we have A intersection B, and we're taking the complement of that. So this is the set of all x such that x is in this set. So it's going to be a intersection B complement. Okay, we'll have to use some properties from logic, but I'll, uh, I'll refresh your memory, or we'll learn them as we go through the proof. This is the set of all x such that. So x is in the complement of A intersection B. So that means that x is not in A intersection B. All right, so it's not in the intersection of the two. So it's not there. Okay, so it's not in the intersection. So this is equal to the set of all x such that so if x is not in the intersection, right, what does that mean? So if x is in the intersection, it's in both. So if it's not in the intersection, that means that it's not in A, or it's not in B, right? It's not in B, right? So we're saying it's not in both. So if it's not in both, that means it's either not going to be in A, it's not going to be in B, or it's not going to be in both, right? So um, this is a statement from, from logic, right, from logic. And then so what does this mean? This is the set of all x such that, well, x is not an A. That means x is in the complement of A. Or x is in the complement of B. But that's exactly what it means. So it could be the set of all x such that x is in the union of these two. And this is precisely the set that we wanted to show that it was equal to. And that completes the proofs. I hope this has made sense. I think this is probably the most um, confusing step going from, from here to here. Uh, but it's something that comes from mathematical logic. So again, you can reason it pretty simply. Um, you're saying that x is not an A or x is not in B. Um, therefore, it can't be in the intersection. That's it.